Hello everybody, this is Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. You're seeing us a lot here on the Political Forum and we really appreciate you for joining us. And you've seen us at a lot of political rallies. We're going to be covering them all the way up till election time. And we say thank you for joining us here on TV 12, TV 97, also on our YouTube channel. You can go to YouTube.com and just search Jack Ivey there and you'll be able to see not only all the political rallies, but you'll see all the interviews that we've done with our candidates. You know, election time, of course, right around the corner. It's August the 4th in the first primary here. And today we're excited about having a very special guest with us today. You can see his name a little bit in the background. We got Mr. Mike Brown. He is a candidate for your second district supervisor for Tishomingo County. Mike, glad to see you hey, again. Jack, glad to see you again, man. Well, I hated to bring this up right off the bat, but uh, I was hoping Mike was going to show up in his A model that you see on television, but uh, he didn't bring it to give me a ride today. But uh, uh, we'll get you riding in something. That's a pretty awesome car there thank and stuff. But Mike, we're glad to have you here. Glad and, to be here. Uh, thank you for coming back. Yes, sir. What about the campaign? Has it been a little busy out there? Uh, I don't think it's been as hot this year over, overall. We've had some cool days, but uh, anytime you're out on the campaign trail going door to door, it's pretty rough, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's, it's been a little warm, and you know, it's because you're sitting in the air conditioner, is what it is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been warm out there, you know, and uh, from door to door. And, uh, the dogs have been a little worse for this year than they've been a being. So uh, that, that'd be bad for me because if there's a dog coming after, I might not get out. Yeah, I <laughs> might just uh, throw a card out in the driveway. But uh, so you're saying since I'm sitting under this air conditioner, it's kind of got me small, right? Yes, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, Mike, of course, is running for second district supervisor, and of course, election is coming up on, on August the fourth. And mm -hmm. we've seen you at some rallies, and I'm sure we'll see you at some more. And uh, right. The folks out there, I know, uh, want to be better informed on who they want to vote for. And, uh, Mike, hopefully today, by the time we get through, they'll know a little bit more about you. Okay. And uh, you live in, the, of course, the Burnsville community there in the 2nd District. And I know you're excited about this race. And, uh, once again, glad to have you here today. Yeah, we're excited about it. And uh, I've lived in the North Crossroads area since in about 1963, 4, right in that area. First started first grade school there. Sounds good. So, Mike, what we're going to do to start it off for the folks that uh, may not know uh, all they need to know, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, maybe a little background information on Mike Brown. Sure. Like I said, uh, my family moved there in 64, I believe, and I started Barnesville School and went, graduated there from Barnesville School and have had a business there with my dad for all these years and still got it going. And, and I've been blessed with, a, with an opportunity to have a job and stay at home. And, where I grew up at, but a lot of people haven't been, and that's one of the reasons that I'm kind of interested in trying to get some ministry. You know, cool. of course you and I, district. of course you and I talked about, uh, you know, the the kiddos uh, up and leaving. That's not good. Uh, we all would love for our kids to be able to stay at home, right? Well, yeah, I have a lot of people. You know, I'm in their house, kind of, you know, politicking with them, and they, you know, they tell me their kids doesn't live here anymore. They had to leave, go get work, and and I've got a daughter that had to leave here. And, you know, she said, I can't, can't live here, Dad. I can't get a job. So that's one of the things I'd like to change is, uh, is get our industry built up so our kids and children can stay here and grandkids and we can enjoy life with them. And um, we really need that. I, like I said, I've been blessed. I was able to stay here. But if I hadn't had this and my dad hadn't had the business, I'd have had to left too, you know. And, uh, of course, we know we got all these smart kids leaving, and, uh, of course, they're helping out the other cities uh, surrounding uh, states and whatever. And, of course, naturally, we'd love those uh, kids to be here in Tishomingo County. What made you decide you wanted to run for supervisor? Well, the, like I just said, the industry was the biggest thing. I, th I think we need some more work in the industry in here. And we, Tishomingo County, 2nd District especially, I think, has got all the opportunities that could really be made into something good. We got two major highways running east and west, 72, and we got 25 running north and south, and we got Tom Beaver River Bridge and Waterway, and and when I was a little boy, you know, everybody politicians would run on. We get elected, we'll have Tom Beaver River in here in the industry, you know, so it's here and we ain't got it, and we got the railroads, and uh, there's no reason that this county can't be booming with the right somebody to do the right talk and the right salespeople. Burnsville, uh, the city right there around it in the industrial area, has probably got the best opportunity of any, any town in Tishomingo County. Like you said, right. with all the opportunities there, a lot of, a lot of areas does not have necessarily have the water, but right. uh, or necessarily does not have the rail or four-way highways and stuff. So right. Burnsville's really got a, a good opportunity. Uh, I guess the question I, I want to ask you today is, 
what would make you a good supervisor for the folks of the second district? I know they would like a, a good supervisor if uh, ever who gets elected. They're looking for a good one. What would make you a good one? Well, I think what would make a good supervisor, and I think I could make a good one, or I wouldn't be interested in running for this, is that um, you know I could work with the crew and uh, and be on their level and, and help them and get we could talk daily about what needs to be done out in the second district. And there's a lot that needs to be done. I'm seeing a lot. People are showing me a lot of things that needs to be done, and and I think I can work with them and do this. And and then, like I said, our, you know, that's not all there is to this job. It's a little more serious than that. You got your budgets to take care of. You got your industry to work on. And I think I'm a good enough salesperson that I can talk to people, and I can get us some industry in here. And I think I can help the. You know, Get the budget straightened out a little bit and get going, get things, to make some changes, make some difference. Of course, Mike Brown joining us here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Don't forget you'll be able to watch this interview on YouTube.com. Just search uh, Jack Ivey and you'll see the interview here with Mr. Mike Brown. You can also watch it uh, on TV 97 as well. And uh, also don't forget, once again, all the political rallies are on television as well and on our YouTube. Of course, uh, Mike, uh, we had the opportunity earlier in the year to be down at Burnsville at the fire department down there to be at a political rally. We had a little rain that day, but uh, you're blessed with some hardworking folks that uh, work with the fire departments. That uh, how would you uh, would you be a big supporter of the fire departments and all those guys that work real hard? I know you will. Oh, definitely. I've already talked to most of them, and and you know I made it plain to them that whatever they need, I if I'm in this position, I'm going to do my best to help them because we need the firefighters when you know the. To help us, you know, they do a lot more than people realize they do. And, it, and they don't charge anything. They, they don't charge anything. <laughs> it's all volunteers, so they need our help. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? And yeah. uh, of course, me and you know that it takes a lot of money for the fire department guys. They need to have the right. proper gear and stuff because, you know, if they go out to a location uh, to protect us in some form or fashion from a, a disaster situation, if they hadn't got the proper equipment, uh, also, if you got the better fire departments and all that stuff, your insurance ratings are better as well. Insurance so, ratings are better, yes. I plan on helping the fire departments in every way I can. If you just happen to join us once again, Mike Brown, of course, wants to be your second district supervisor. And, of course, Mike, uh, uh, not too many days leading up to the 4th. And I know uh, you've been going door to door. And uh, the folks out there, uh, when they say that... Uh, when you talk to them about the race, what do they actually say? Do they, are they, what's, their, what's their biggest question for you? Well, a lot of the people are saying, you know, it's time for a change. And, and then they got complaints, and I listen to them and everything. And, and I can see the differences that needs to be, the things that needs to be changed and the difference that needs to be made. Sounds good. Mike Brown, our special guest here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Mike, if you remember, uh, I've all got your old favorite camera over here yeah. that I'm going to give you a chance to ask for the folks vote there in the 2nd District. And you folks that are watching uh, this interview, make sure you share it on Facebook, share it with your friends. Mike, you can email it with the technology we got today. It's unreal how we right. can get the word out. And we really appreciate you coming down. Have we left anything out that you uh, wanted to talk about before? Well, we... I, I want to just touch on the, uh, you know, the Sheriff's Department and our law enforcement departments. You know, I, they need a lot of help, too. And, uh, you know, if you look at some of their equipment and whoever ends up with this and gets to be the sheriff or whatever, you know, uh, they got a lot of wore out stuff. They need a lot of help from the supervisors. And um, I want to be able to help those also because, you know, they're just they're important people just like the fire department is. You know, we need those people and we need to be able they need equipment to go from point A to point B. And um, I, I think if I'm elected, I can make a difference and help with this. Happened in the Sheriff's Department as well. Stuff. Yeah. I tell you what, whoever gets elected in any of these positions, you know, uh, you've got, your, uh, got a big job to do, right? No doubt about it. There's no doubt that any of them is going to be important. All the, all the positions are going to be important, whoever gets it. And the supervisor's uh, job is going to be an important time this time, you know, with uh, uh, the budget the way it is and needs help and needs working on and tweaking here and there. And I think I'm the man that can tweak it a little bit. Do you need to be a good salesman to be a good supervisor? I think you're going to have to be a real good salesman. And are you that salesman that there are folks are looking for, you think? I feel like I'm the man for the job. Sounds good. Mike Brown, our special guest here. Mike, I'm going to let you look in that camera right over there, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask for the folks' vote. I know it's impossible to get in front of everybody. 
But uh, this would be a good chance for the folks that uh, don't get a chance to see you in person. Uh, tell them a little bit about Mike, and I don't want to give you a chance to ask for the vote today. Mike Brown, a second district supervisor candidate here on your hometown station. Mike? So I'm Mike Brown. I'm running for supervisor for Tishomingo County, second district. And uh, I ask for your vote, your help. We're going to try to make you a good supervisor, make you an honest supervisor. And I will be open there for to listen to you and hear your suggestions and take your phone calls and help you any way I can. And uh, I need your vote on August 4th. God bless you. Thank you a lot. Mike Brown, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you coming yes, down. Sir. And uh, don't forget, uh, I need a ride in one of them A models. And I'll get you a ride in something here <laughs> for, them, uh, for the, for the uh, season's up. For the get season's you over and stuff. Once again, we're going to get on out of here. And uh, don't forget to make sure you share this once again on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, watch it on TV 97 so you know more about Mr. Mike Brown. And I know, Mike, once you go to the polls on August the 4th and uh, push that button, mark that ballot, whatever you do, wherever you're at, uh, make it for Mike Brown as your next supervisor for the 2nd District. For Denise on the controls, Mr. Mike Brown, our special guest, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us here on the Political Forum. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time.